हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैथ्स टाइम सागर आया टूडे आई एम बैक विथ एवर क्वेश्चन सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन सो टूडे क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट चैप्टर सो सुमनिमा बहर रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फ्रॉम अ बैंक एंड पेड बैक इन टू इयर्स इन टू इक्वल इंस्टॉलमेंट्स इफ द एनुअल रेट ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट is 4% per annum find the amount of each installment so here we have to find the amount of each installment so this amount of each installment i am supposing here amount of each installment be let it be x okay so let's do for the first year so for first year i'm writing here principal one because this is principal is for first year so principal for the first year will be rupees 25500 since we are doing for first year so time will be here one year okay and then compound uh, rate of interest is given rate is given 4% per annum since we are doing for one year only that's why we can use the formula of simple interest also so here interest for first year will be interest one interest one means interest for first year will be p into t into r by 100 and then what is the formula for p sorry value of p is given here rupees Twenty-five thousand five hundred into time is one into rate is four divided by hundred. So this two zero we can cancel. So rupees two fifty-five into four will be four five are twenty. Carry two five four are twenty. Twenty-one twenty-two. Carry two four two are eight nineteen. So one thousand twenty. Similarly. for second year so for second year principal for second year will be uh, since uh, here compound interest is applied no compound interest we have to apply that's why this principal and this com uh, interest for first year we have to add okay so rupees 25500 plus this 1000 Twenty, we have to add. At the same time, no. After first year, we are paying one installment. It means this uh, amount of each installment. So here also we paid. Uh, suppose x, if we have paid, then x we have to subtract here because we already paid one installment. No. So that installment should be subtracted, and whatever amounts come, that will be the principal for second year. So when you add this, it will be. Twenty-six thousand five hundred twenty, then minus x. So this is the principal for second year. And then, since this is for second year, so time will be one year, and rate will be four percent per annum. Since we are doing for only one year, so here also we can use the formula of simple interest because we already added here. No, for uh, principal in the second year will be uh, principal of first year plus interest okay and then we have to subtract first installment so that will be the principal for second year now formula is p into t into r by 100 and then what is the principal 26520 minus x is the principal into time is 1 and rate is 4 Divided by hundred, so this four and twenty five we can cancel. Four twenty five is hundred, so two six five two zero minus x into one will be same divided by twenty five. Okay, so interest for second year we have uh, first year we have calculated interest for second year also we have calculated. Now what we have to do is so after this we will start from here now in two installment what we have to pay we have to pay this principal also no 
so principal for first year we have to pay this interest also so this 1020 means interest for first year and then again we have to pay for uh, pay the interest of second year also no we have to pay the principal and two interest also we have to pay so interest for second year also so all these three if you add then it will be how many installment two installment no all this we have to pay in two installment so one installment is x so two installment will be x plus x or you can write directly 2x also yeah so two installment means principal for first year and interest for first year and then interest for second year okay so what is the principal now principal for first year is rupees 25500 i am not writing here rupees okay at last we can just write down answer in rupees and then what is the interest 1020 and then here interest for second year is 26520 minus x divided by 25 equals to x plus x will be 2x okay now 25500 and 1020 it will be 26520 plus 26520 minus x all divided by 25 so it divided by 25 equals to 2x now let's multiply this 26520 into 25 we have to do by taking lcm so 26520 into 25 plus 26520 minus x equals to 2x let's multiply this 25 uh, into 26520 25 uh, 2 is a 50 0 first of all item then 25 to the 50 carried 5 25 5 is a 125 plus 5 um, it will be 130 so carried 13 25 6 is a 150 150 uh, plus 13 163 then uh, carried 16 25 to the 50 uh, 50 and 16 it will be uh, 66 plus 26 5 to 0 minus x equals to this 25 into 2x will be 50x and then we have to add this so 0 and 0 is 0 0 plus 2 will be 0 5 and 0 will be 5 6 and 3 will be 9 then 66 plus 2 will be 68 and then equal to 50x then minus x will be here plus x so and then we have to do 68,500 sorry uh, 6,89,520 equals to 51x okay so let's divide this by 51 we will get the value of x so let's divide this uh, 689520 divide 51 so 13520 so 13520 so at last we can write the amount of each installment is the amount of each installment is rupees 13,520 no x means amount of its installment so this is the required answer so if you uh, really like my video please uh, like share and subscribe my channel uh, if you are watching this video for the first time uh, don't forget to press bell icon so that uh, you won't miss uh, any upcoming videos so for today of this month uh, see you in the next video thank you